Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I am Akshada. I work as a solution architect for customer success team at Informatica. In this video, we will be covering how to scan the Oracle resource into CDGC, which is nothing but cloud data governance and catalog. The agenda of the session would be to understand the configurations necessary for creating the Oracle scanner in CDGC, more details on the metadata extraction, column profiling and enabling the intelligent business term association. Before we proceed on the configuration part, we need to understand that MCC, which is nothing but metadata command center service, extract only the following objects from the Oracle source system. So the MCC Oracle extraction allows the database, schema, table, view, stored procedures, functions, packages. In addition to that, if there are following SQL functionalities, like if there is a PL SQL query or if there is a static SQL, if there are only any procedure calls with parameters tracing, dynamic SQLs with meta tables, all these things can also be extracted with the help of Oracle catalog resource in CDGC. In nutshell, we configure an Oracle catalog source to extract the metadata mentioned on the screen from Oracle database hosted on a dedicated server or an AWS RDS Oracle instance or Oracle Autonomous Database. The Oracle Autonomous Database is a SaaS implementation of Oracle Database on the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Now let us see a quick demo on how this Oracle CDGC scanner can be configured within MCC service of the IICS. When you log into the IICS service of Informatica, you will be brought in to the administrator page. To create the Oracle resource, you will have to navigate to the Metadata Command Center or MCC service of the IICS. So I will be logging into the MCC now. MCC or Metadata Command Center is a metadata management application for the cloud platform and a one-stop solution for administration, data stewards, model developers and the evaluators. With MCC, we can extract, store and enrich the metadata from diverse source systems into our organization. So to create Oracle resource, uh, this is the overview page of MCC. So you can see the highlights of what kind of catalog sources are scanned, how many assets we have. We can also monitor the jobs. We can see the recently executed jobs. You can see the trend, how the assets have been uh, scanned into the IICS. And also obviously you can see the list of connections on the overview page or on the home page. Now let us look deeper into how do you create the Oracle resource from scratch. To create Oracle resource, we have three steps. First is you need to register the catalog source, which is nothing but the Oracle resource. Second one is you need to configure the catalog source. Third, you need to add the filters in case if you want a specific schema to be scanned. That is what we need to do. Fourth one is we need to assign the stakeholders. And fifth one is you need to run the catalog source job. So let us continue doing these five steps to configure the Oracle resource. So all you are, you are going to do is click on new. So when you click on new, you get the list of predefined catalog sources. So since our today's demonstration is on the Oracle, I'm just going to search with the Oracle. So I have re received the pop-up for predefined catalog sources. Just going to click on create. This gives me the configuration window. So first we registered that this is the Oracle resource. Now pops up the configuration window. So first page talks about the general information. What do you want to name this catalog source as and connection associated with this particular catalog source. Remember the requirement here is to create and configure the Oracle catalog source. And hence we need to specify the connection details to the Oracle database, which we are willing to scan. So the connection should be created in the administrator service of the ISCS. So let us go back to the administrator service of IICS. In the connections tab over here, you will have to create a connection which will be pointing to the catalog source which we are planning to scan. So let us start filling up the information. So I'm just going to give the name. Description is not mandatory. So I'm just going to leave it blank. So connection, we will pick the existing connection that is already created in the administrator tab. 
So this is going to list all the connections that your organization administrator has created into the IICS administrator service. So the moment I choose the connection, I get the connection properties, the username, host, the service name, all the other details. We can perform the test connection if required. So this is about registering the catalog source. Now when I move next, it gives me different options. The very first is metadata extraction. The metadata extraction capability of the MCC or CDGC is going to extract the source metadata and profile the metadata from external source systems, which is Oracle in this case. We will have to specify the secure agent on which the uh, metadata extraction is going to run. So I'm just going to choose the runtime run environment. There are some additional configuration parameters like if you want to process the programming mobile objects or not. By default, this is set to no. You can also have the maximum number of loop iterations assigned. Next is the data profiling capability. This assesses source metadata and views the collected statistics to discover the content and structure such as value dis distribution, patterns, value frequency pairs and data types. So you have different modes of run over here. You can either keep only signatures or if you are interested in the value frequency pairs, you can have the signature and value both. The profiling scope by default is set to incremental but when you are doing the data profiling for the first time we would recommend to go for full profiling scope. The sampling type is if you want to have all the rows profiled you can choose the sampling type as all but if you want only first n number of rows like I have millions of records and I want to profile only first hundred rows just to understand the pattern I can use the sampling option. Again we need to choose the runtime environment which is going to ex which is going which is responsible for execution of the profiles next is the data classification capability this identifies the data elements entities and policies based on the extracted metadata so this is equivalent to the data domain discovery on the on in the on prem world so user can define his or her own data classification rules and this data classification capability is going to identify data elements, entities, policies based on the extracted metadata. So as you can see, I have multiple data classifications created. I'm just going to choose one, which is going to check if there is any birth date type of column in the data that is being scanned. The next one is the relationship discovery capability. This identifies the semantically similar pairs of columns and tables within the catalog source and recommends columns and tables that can be joined further. The final capability is the glossary association. This is going to recommend and associate the business glossary terms with the data elements in the technical assets. So in case if there is a glossary tagging and if you want the tagging to be accepted automatically, you, you need to enable the auto acceptance and you can specify the def, uh, threshold value based on your organizational policies. So, so far we have chosen metadata extraction, data profiling, data classification, relationship discovery and the glossary association for Oracle catalog resource. Next is applying the filters. In case if you want specific metadata objects to be removed or added for the extraction, you can specify the filters. Now in this case, I will be specifying a schema filter. So I'm just going to choose include schema. So among all the databases, I just want a specific schema to be chosen. I'm going to specify the value and this is my filter. I also want to assign a stakeholder so I will be choosing list of stakeholders. I am going to assign the governance administrator. In case if a user want to schedule this particular job, it can be done through the schedule tab. Now I, I will be saving this catalog source and we will execute the catalog source. So. Once you click on run, you get an overview of what is the scope of your execution. So we have chosen data profiling. All the summary gets displayed over here. Once you click on run, the job is sub will be submitted to the secure agent. So in this way, we can configure the Oracle catalog resource in CDGC. Once the scanning is complete, you can view the complete catalog resources scanned using the data governance and catalog service of IICS. So as we can see on the screen, the 
Oracle Catalog resource has been scanned successfully. You can see multiple tabs, overview, hierarchy, relationships and so on using the data governance and catalog. The detailed description on the Oracle Catalog resource configuration is also present in the Informatica documentation. So you can visit the Metadata Command Center document which is present on docs.informatica.com and look for the additional information. We would love to hear from you on the feedback of this video. So you can tweet us at the given Twitter handle or you can drop an email at supportvideos.informatica.com. Thank you.